What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seth the Line Surgeon and today um just gonna do a little random vlog or vlog. Uh got some yards to cut and uh right now it's like the end of the season. Um doing my final cuts, the customers that want final cuts, going out to handle those. And um I'm staying I'm staying a little busy. I got a lot of work that needs to be done that I gotta get done so I'm, I'm steady trying to find ways to get that done so um yeah let's get to it all right people I am excited and horrified all at the same time <laughs> this is a, a nice neighborhood I don't know if y'all can see that it's a nice Nice yard. Yeah. Trying not to show the house and whatnot, but uh, it's a nice house in a very nice neighborhood. But man, if it's not a lot of work, let me show y'all this backyard right here. Can somebody come look at this? Will somebody come look at this? Luckily for me today, she doesn't want me to clean the leaves. She just wants me to cut it. Which the other thing is, I didn't bring my uh, my walk behind, which would have been perfect for this yard. Even though I was have to walk it. It's nice grass. It'll mulch up all the leaves. <sighs> so I'm trying to decide if I should come back. Or if I should go ahead and try to knock it out with the, uh, the gravely. <laughs> that's, that's why I said I'm excited. I haven't even looked at the whole thing. I'm excited, but... Uh, Yeah. All right, people. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get as much leaves off the street into the uh, grass as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and try to give it a go with the gravely. But uh, you don't want to get it nice and cut and then have to blow the leaves into the grass. So might as well get them up there now. Hopefully, I'll be able to shred them up good enough without the, the T-bar. And we'll see what we got.
people, so you can't really see it because of the shadows, but I'll give y'all a walk around once I'm done. But I got the big boy out because uh, I got to displace some of these clippings. You don't want to blow. See, I got leaves back on the curb and you don't want to blow that back in the grass. So I got to use, maneuver these leaves in areas so it looks good. And so that's why I brought out the big boy. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, this is part of the yard here. It's just a little strip that's on that yard, you know. This is the uh, other part. Like I said, all the leaves that's here, I chopped them up. Um, don't recommend going over it that many times, as usual, because you press down the grass, but that's what I had to do, deal with. In order to chop those leaves up, See, like right here, it was starting to get pressed down. So. Yep, yep, yep. As y'all can see, people, we got her done. We got her done. Yeah, straight out of a little bit. I can figure out. Let me just figure out how to get out this neighborhood. Probably bust a Yui if I can. I don't want to get lost. But yeah. Ha. I am glad I picked up my camera today. Nice little little yard we had going on today uh, make sure nobody knows. Ooh, we got a little pond well i gotta ask neil oh it's a uh, cold a second let me turn around here. i asked neil if that's a pond or whatever you call it <laughs> but um yeah um uh, I guess I could explain my technique that I use. Like I said, normally I'll have my T-bar, which is my 36 inch walk behind, which has a mulching kit on it. And like two passes, it, it demolishes any kind of leaves or anything like that. I always double check your work. I like to drive by it again. But um, since I didn't have that, all I had the was the uh, the gravely, which is heavier and it's stronger, but it doesn't mulch up as well. So in order to mulch up stuff, you have to make you know three, maybe four passes. This is what I had, what I had to do. Um, so that's why I was going over it. And what I was saying about not going over it too much, they say people say you, you shouldn't do the same pattern every cut. Which is true, and it, it, I mean, I can make a video on that. That's all depending on how tall you cut the grass. But, um, if you could make multiple passes over, you smash down the grass, you could possibly kill the grass. So especially doing it on the same day, <laughs> that would definitely kill the grass. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, it's not gonna kill it now and after one time the next time I, I come to cut the shot I'll know better and I'll be properly equipped other thing was like I said I had managed to get all the leaves on the grass cut up you don't want to blow the leaves back on so I had to blow them in designated areas where there were already leaves to kind of blend it in and that's why I had to get out the big blower so it wouldn't take me forever you know I I want to make a video on uh, talking about how much that um, handheld blower has saved me. Like when I see people with backpack blowers just in regular daily mowing, it's like, bruh, what year are you living in, bro? Like get a handheld. <laughs> like they like they just invented handhelds. Anywho, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I mean along with you guys I got a little surprise today that yard it's the first time I cut that yard but um hopefully it's many more to come maybe they'll even get me the air raid and seed it um we'll see anywho thanks for watching comment subscribe and stay tuned yes sir.